15 most terrifying planets and where to find them. Hi, we gathered up some of the most unusual planets in the whole universe. Check them out. Number 15, Slasher Planet. In this image, the nightmare world of HD 189733b is the killer you never see coming. To the human eye, this far-off planet looks bright blue, but any space traveler confusing it with the friendly skies of Earth would be badly mistaken. The weather in this world is deadly. Its winds blow up to 5,400 miles per hour or 2 kilometers per second. At seven times the speed of sound, whipping all would-be travelers in a sickening spiral around the planet. And getting caught in the rain on this planet is more than an inconvenience. It's death by a thousand cuts. This scorching alien world possibly rains glass sideways in its howling winds. The cobalt blue color comes not from the reflection of a tropical ocean as on Earth, but rather a hazy, blow-torched atmosphere containing high clouds laced with silicate particles. In its atmosphere, there are a lot of silicates. Under the influence of the heat given by the nearby star, they evaporate and produce gas clouds, which after cooling down, produce precipitation. On this planet, you would find yourself dealing with a cascade of blue drops of glass. That's why astronomers refer to it as the Slasher Planet. Number 14. Tress 2b This is an alien world as big as Jupiter, but unlike the giant of our solar system whose ammonia clouds reflecting more than a third of sunlight make it sparkle salmon and white, it is a dark, gloomy world, darker than the blackest piece of coal can imagine. The only glimmer that indicates its presence is a faint reddish light, like the resistance of an electric stove. The effect of the scorching heat generated by a sun not even 5 million kilometers away. Tress 2b reflects less than 1% of the light that floods it, making it blacker than any known moon or planet. It's far less reflective than a brush stroke of black acrylic paint, so it's truly an alien world. What astronomers think make it so dark could be its chemical composition, but honestly, they do not yet have clear ideas. However, it's not completely black, not like pitch at least. It's hot enough to emit a faint glow, a bit like a glowing ember. Tress 2b orbits its star in synchronous rotation, like the moon around the Earth, always turning the same face towards it. Number 13. 55 Cancri E we have known for years about the rocky planet 55 Cancri E, twice the size of Earth, but with a mass eight times greater. Characteristics that make it one of the densest exoplanets ever studied so far. 55 Cancri E is the closest super-Earth to us, making it one of the best candidates for detailed observations of the surface and atmospheric conditions of rocky exoplanets. This planet is so close to its host star that astronomers expect the atmosphere to be stripped away by escape and evaporation processes due to the intense stellar radiation. Nevertheless, it seems that 55 Cancri E managed to keep most of its primordial atmosphere, but it is not yet clear how this could have happened. In the past, 55 Cancri E was nicknamed the Diamond Planet, since models based on its mass and radius have led some astronomers to speculate that its internal composition was rich in carbon. Turns out carbon actually exists, but studies indicate it is almost completely stored in the atmosphere. Number 12. PSR B1257 plus 12 Have you ever heard about pulsars? These are spherical, compact objects that are about the size of a large city, but contain more mass than the sun. When two pulsars merge together, a gravitational wave propagates in space, and we are able to detect the space-time deformation caused by such a wave. While this planet, PSR B1257 plus 12b, along with fellow doomed worlds, were among the first and creepiest to be discovered as they orbit an undead star known as a pulsar. That's exactly what makes it so unusual. Its mass is 0.02 Earths, it takes 25.3 days to complete one orbit of its star. Imagine celebrating your birthday every 25 days or so. How weird is that? Number 11. HD 189733b 
HD 189733b is a giant, hot exoplanet in close orbit around a very active dwarf star. So hot that its atmosphere reaches temperatures of over 900 degrees, and for this reason, it expands enormously in space, where it can practically dissolve and create long trails that follow or precede the planet. It is actually one of the most extreme exoplanets known. With a mass about 13% larger than that of Jupiter, the planet is very close to its parent star, a bright orange dwarf, completing a circle around it in just 2.2 days. The proximity to its star causes the planet's atmosphere to touch temperatures of about 925 degrees Celsius. This is why HD 189733b is defined as a hot, deadly Jupiter. Number 10. Kepler 70b From what we know, Kepler 70b is a rocky exoplanet smaller than Earth, and it has a surface temperature of over 7,000 Kelvin probably the hottest known surface temperature of any exoplanet. Although the precise temperature is unknown, it is predicted to be warmer than the Sun's surface. How extreme is that? Number 9. WASP-12b WASP-12b is another extremely dark planet. Using the image spectrograph on board the Hubble Space Telescope, an international research group has measured its albedo, or how much light the exoplanet reflects. High temperature is the most plausible cause for a very low albedo value. Probably the day side of WASP-12b is so hot that it prevents the formation of clouds and the alkali metals, which have a highly light-absorbing power, are found in ionized form. However, the heat on WASP-12b is also intense enough that it can break apart hydrogen molecules into atomic hydrogen, causing the planet's atmosphere to behave more like the atmosphere of a low-mass star and it is precisely this that probably determines the low albedo of this suggestive celestial body. Number 8. Galice 436b Astronomers think this planet hosts a large concentration of an exotic form of water ice known as Ice X on top of a rocky core. But this is really strange, given the high temperatures found on the planet. This ice substance can remain solid despite blisteringly hot temperatures, we're talking so hot it could literally melt your face off. Just so you understand, if you managed to catch a drop of it in your mouth, your face would literally melt. So how come water is still solid at these temperatures? This is because of the immense gravity of the planet. This strong gravity compresses the trace amounts of water vapor in its atmosphere, keeping it from reverting back to its liquid form. Number 7. Venus Despite being in our solar system, Venus is a very unusual planet. It is the second planet from the Sun and has an atmosphere so thick and full of clouds that its surface is much hotter than that of Mercury. Volcanic eruptions are always present on Venus. Clouds on this planet are not made of water, but of sulfuric acid, which condenses and rains down on the ground. This is scary, isn't it? Hey, if you're still here, it means you're really enjoying the video. Why don't you subscribe now and press the bell notification? Number 6. Ogle 2005 BLG 390LB This planet's name is very hard to spell, but this is not the most interesting thing about it. It is likely the coldest planet ever discovered. It orbits around a very cool star, a red dwarf, reaching temperatures of no more than 53 Kelvin degrees. The received radiation accounts for only a thousandth of the heat that the Sun would send it. It could be an icy planet, a frozen analog of the ocean planets. Number 5. 51 Pegasi b 51 Pegasi b was the first exoplanet to be discovered. When it was discovered, planetary formation theories were not compatible with a giant planet so close to its star, and it was considered an anomaly. This was what made it so strange. However, since then, numerous others have been discovered, such as in the 55 Cancri and Tau Botis systems, and astronomers have begun to revise their theories and study the possibility of orbital migrations. At first, it was thought to be a rocky planet, but today it is believed to be a gas giant. It is massive enough to hold its own atmosphere without being torn off by its host star's stellar wind. 
The planet is in synchronous rotation with its own star. That is, it always shows the same face. Number 4. Korot 7b Korot 7b is the first extrasolar planet that was shown to be a rocky planet like Earth. This was a discovery for the search for life as we know it, because if we want to look for some signatures of alien life, we better look for them on planets similar to Earth. And Korot 7b has some similar features, thus suggesting that planets like Earth exist and we're not just a bug in the universe. Korot 7b orbits its star every 0.85 days at a distance of 1.6 million miles. It is so close to its star that its surface temperature is about 2000 degrees Celsius. Korot 7b's radius was determined to be 6600 miles, only 1.68 times that of Earth, and its mass was initially found to be at most 21 times that of Earth. Such extrasolar planets that are larger than Earth but are not gas giants are called super-Earths. Number 3. Korot 3b This is Korot 7b's brother. It is an amazing planet, just under twice the size of Earth. Its temperature is so high that it's probably covered with lava or water vapor. What makes it so special again is its mass. Only a few of the exoplanets identified so far have a mass comparable to that of the Earth and other terrestrial planets such as Venus, Mars, and Mercury. The terrestrial planets are in fact extremely difficult to identify. Until now, most of the methods used have been indirect and sensitive to the mass of the planet. The more massive it is, the easier to be found. Number 2. Osiris With temperatures towards the core of the planet exceeding 3600 degrees Fahrenheit or 2000 degrees Celsius, Osiris makes a swim in the center of an active volcano seem like a treat. Moreover, an enormous envelope of hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen surrounds this planet. This acts like a greenhouse, and the planet is able to reach temperatures of almost 10,000 degrees Celsius. That's almost 5,000 degrees hotter than many regions on our own sun, which means that you'd fry long before you'd even get close to the planet. Number 1. OTS-44 Astronomers say OTS-44 could be both a free-floating planet or a brown dwarf, located at 550 light-years or 170 parsecs in the constellation Chameleon. It is among the lowest mass free-floating substellar objects, with approximately 11.5 times the mass of Jupiter or approximately 1.1% that of the Sun. Its radius is not very well known and is estimated to be 23-57% to that of the Sun. Given the uncertainties, they are not really able to say if OTS-44 is a rogue planet or a stellar object. Further studies will surely break this degeneracy, and maybe we will understand some other weird features of this mysterious object. That's all for this video. What's your favorite exoplanet? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to share it. And I'll see you next time on the channel.